The community was put on alert for more than eight hours on Wednesday following an 8.8 magnitude earthquake off of Russia. The tsunami advisory was canceled by 6.40 p.m. No damage was reported on Thursday. Guam Homeland Security and Office of Civil Defense Public Information Officer Jenna Bloss. So through yesterday's response, we did receive confirmation from National Weather Service that there were wave records of about up to one foot. Um, and, I, I, you know, I don't have the exact locations, and I know that we'll, we'll do an assessment after this and see exactly what that looked like for the island. But how ready is Guam if a tsunami actually hits? That's something that we ask ourselves as well. And we have a very robust tsunami outreach initiative where we try to reach community members and teach them more about tsunami preparedness and awareness. We didn't really see how we would have operated if we had moved up to a tsunami warning, but we were prepared to take um, initiative if we did move up to a tsunami warning. Blah says a common misconception is that destructive tsunamis are not a threat to Guam because of the Marianas Trench and reefs. That's one of the biggest misconceptions that we hear. And, and oftentimes when we do our community outreach, we let them know that our partners with National Weather Service have explained in detail how it can still happen here. A destructive tsunami can still happen. That's why preparedness and awareness is paramount. There are evacuation route signs installed throughout the island that should be followed to higher ground. Plus, hazard sirens are ready to alert the community. From our last report, there were 23 out of 24 that were operational. Um, again, we test them every month, and that way we're able to see what, what areas need to be improved, what areas need to be worked on, whether or not you're able to hear the verbiage, because sometimes people are unable to hear the exact note that's being, that's being issued. Uh, it's important that you tune into other means of communication. We would utilize all in the, in the case of an actual emergency, including radio stations, our partners with local media, our social media, our website. So it's important that when you, when you hear a siren, you tune in as to local news. Overall, she says the island's response was evident in all the action taken across the island Wednesday from local, military and federal partners to ensure people stayed away from the beaches and remained out of the water. We really thank the community for, for heeding the advice and the warnings. Meantime, she adds September is National Preparedness Month, a perfect time to review your response plans for all emergencies, from tsunamis, typhoons to earthquakes. Just visit ghs.guam.gov for more. Mitsuki Hiriyama, KUEM News.